Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My regular disclaimer that this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so a few days ago now I received these beautiful three books in the post. Um, there was no um, no gift, no. But they are from the same illustrator, the same artist. So um, I'm assuming that these have been sent to me for review. I've checked my emails, my business inquiries, there's nothing there. Um, but I do believe, um, like I said, that these have been sent to me for review. So if you are the person or the company who have sent these to me, a huge, huge, great big thank you so much. So I'm going to show all three of these in this one video. Um, some, it is going to be quite difficult to flip through um, and you will see why in a second. So, all three of these mystery one colour colouring books are by Kira Shashniva. So, this first one is Mystery Dots. Now, I think many of us have seen books like this. Um, so, here is the back. Colour Relaxation by Kira Shashniva. So, here we go. There's the ISBN number there if you wish to pause on the video and check that out. So as you can see, it gives, you know, some examples of the pages that we've got inside. Uh, so it will show you here is just what the, the circles look like before they're coloured in this one and this one. And then these two images are what they look like coloured. And we get one... Um, a free page from the Mystery Lines One Colour book at the back. But the rest, as you can see, is the dots. This is printed on Amazon paper, I believe. Yep, yeah. so it's printed on Amazon paper with the black background. Very much like our Jade Summer and Sun Life Drawing colouring books that we have come to know and love. And I would guess there's about 40 pages. Okay, 30. So there's 30 unique designs with animals, flowers, travel objects, famous people and more. Um, and it says here we can use only one colour to find out what is hidden by mystery dots. Every picture will surprise you. Um, of course, if you want to use more than one colour, you absolutely can. But... You know, again, these are just designed for one colour, which is so quick, easy, stress-free, mindless, perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, and then we have um, Kira's Amazon and Etsy information here and also the copyright details down here at the bottom. So if you want to check out her books, amazon.com forward slash author forward slash colour relaxation or the printable pdf books are available on etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash colour relaxation so i will hope that up so if, again if you want to pause and screenshot that you have the information there so that is the mystery dots book then we have mystery spots so again, this is set out exactly the same format as the Mystery Dots book. So we have Kira's name down here at the bottom. And again, on the back, she has given us um, two of the images that have not yet been coloured. And then just opposite each one, you have the image when it has been coloured with one colour. Again, same information there. The ISBN number for this book. And then, again, printed by Amazon, 
same format as before so i will do a quick flip through of this one just because some of the images may be a little bit more noticeable for you so again we have 30 images in this one and here is kira's amazon etsy and copyright details again at the bottom looks like a cat flower a crab maybe I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna keep, <laughs> I'm not gonna keep guessing I think some of them are um, more easier to spot than others you know a bit more noticeable but I think that's what makes these books fun, you know. And the fact that, you know, we only have to use one colour, I think is great. Yeah, I won't keep twisting and turning because I, you know, I could be guessing wrong as well so we'll just have a quick look through that's the cupcake from the back cover <laughs> i think that'll look great in um glitter gel pens that'd be really fun so because these books are single-sided i think you could absolutely use alcohol hole markers on these um but i think because of some of the intricate areas then maybe the um, like the ultra fine um, alcohol markers would probably be better, or alternatively, water based markers, fine liners, gel pens, you know, anything like that would work great. But just be mindful, as I always say, my lovelies, to put a blotter page between. It just protects your next image from any potential bleed through. But yeah, I think these are going to be a lot of fun. I really do. And you will see in the next book in a minute, I did colour a page from um, one of the books just to show you what it looked like complete. I figured before I um, recorded a review, I would colour from one of them. I can just imagine, you know, really lovely colours on some of these pages as well. And like I said, even though they're designed for one colour, you don't have to stick to that. I do think I'm going to try my um, Tombow Twin Tone markers in here. They're water-based and this is what they look like. So we have a fine tip on one end like that and a thicker nib there which i think would be great for these books yeah especially the ones like this where some of the you know the gaps are a bit bigger <clears throat> so yeah i'd be interested to see how they work in these books so i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna try that and see what we get Please excuse the poor lighting. I'm trying to use natural daylight at the moment, but um, it is coming over really grey and overcast. So I think I'm going to need to be putting my um, my overhead softbox lighting on shortly. But yeah, there's some of these images that I think you know you may not necessarily be able to figure them out until you start coloring them um which is also really nice i i like that i think uh, you know i think things like that are really fun 
So there's our 30 images. There we go. So that was the mystery spots. And then this one is mystery lines. So again, this is exactly the same format as the other two books that I have shown you. So we have Kira's name there on the bottom. And again on the back, we have what the images look like, uncoloured and coloured. So there we go. And then normally with books like this, I just start at the front and work my way through. But I just wanted to pick a random page from here to to colour to show you how um, this one turns out. And it is this one. Now, as you can see, if I just tilt it a little bit, there you go. I used a turquoise um, colour it glitter gel pen on this page. It turned out beautifully. It was really difficult for me to tell kind of in person what this was but um my daughter spotted it um my eldest daughter and she was like mum that's I think that's sunflowers and I was just like I, I don't know I, I don't see it but actually looking at this page now through the camera lens yeah I can definitely see that um this is sunflowers so I think that turned out really cool and I did take you know sort of the advice of the book you know one color um, and that's what I used on it and I think it turned out really good I think it turned out really 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 well so there we go so we have a different um, that's an example page from the um, mystery dots book but here are the lines so as you can see some of them are wavy some go sort of diagonal across the page. So again, it's difficult for me to do a complete flip through. But you, you know, from me just sort of, you know, sort of fingering through the pages, you can just, you know, get an idea as to how it's set out. I mean, I think many of you have seen these kinds of books before. So there we go. So that was mystery lines, mystery spots, and mystery dots. And these are all by Kira Shashneva at Colour Relaxation. So again, I just want to say a great big thank you um, to the company or to Kira for sending me this these books. They are beautiful and I appreciate it so much. I cannot wait to work in these again. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, looking at these books with me. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section or alternatively, you can email me. My email address um, and Instagram information, all that good stuff, you will find down in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all again really soon. Bye.